All right, welcome back, Sidetrack Crew. We got a lot of stuff going on today, and I got another good video for you guys. So today we are working, of, of course you guys know, um, this is episode 9 of the build and of the 1947 Chevy pickup truck. And I tell you, we got, um, going to have a good video. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a lot of um, footage as far as um, video, um, so like film, so I, I had to put together a lot of pictures that I've done um, because for some reason I just didn't um, record some of the stuff that I'm working on and stuff and I kind of fi I guess I figured that it would be boring to you guys whatever whenever I did this so I'm putting it together the best way I can and I, you know you guys bear with me I'm gonna have a lot of good video coming but I just want to show you guys as far as the footage that I do have because I still think there's good footage I will be doing a voiceover and hope you guys don't mind about that but, um, so what we're going to be doing is um, the inner um, skins of the bottom of the doors. And I am going to go ahead and just spray those. Um, we're going to walk around the front um, of the truck and everything as far as doing the body work um, and um, painting the firewall. I already showed you a previous video of me doing a body work of the um, front end as far as the firewall. I smoothed it out and everything. But this, I mean, like I told you guys, I didn't spray it for whatever reason. I don't know why I didn't spray it at the time. Um, but I, I am going to go ahead and spray that with that gun metal. And we're going to see how that turns out. Also, guys, we're going to go ahead and um, start sandblasting. And I'm going to actually um, prime and paint the rear end. And I will break that down and paint it black and everything. You guys will see that as well. All right. So I'll get with you guys in the middle of this video. I'm out. All right, guys, we are working on the bottom doors here. Basically, did the inner skin. I went on ahead and did all the body work, primed, and we also put that gunmetal paint on the out on the inside of it as well. We left the outside um, red. That's the firewall. How we smoothed it. I use the S10 frame, so I just kept the S10 control arms, and they already came with the disc brake, so that's a good fit for this truck. That's that Camaro rear end I used. I sandblasted it, put the high heat primer on it, then I just got some industrial black paint, and I painted um, everything black. I also painted those drums that gunmetal color as well. Trying to get everything matching really good. It turned out good. So let's do a little work to the front and inner fenders. I stripped down the inner fenders to bed metal because they had a lot of pinholes and did the body work to them. Overall, they turned out good. As I laid the primer down on it, I did three coats of primer. I actually had to modify the inner fenders to, to go over the cross member with that 504 kit. You will have to do a little modifications, but it says in the instructions. I also got a old timey uh, wind visor, and I actually went on ahead and did body work to that too, and and painted them. Now it's time for a little paint on the inner and outer fenders. Let's get to it. What you guys think? I think they turned out pretty good myself. I love this gun metal. I think it complements the outside of the vehicle very well. Hey, you guys leave some comments below. I would really like to hear your feedback on what you guys think about this gun metal color that I decided to use. Positive or negative? I'm open for all suggestions, guys. Hey, guys, there's Momo the shop dog. It looked like he's supervising again. Alright guys, as you can see, it's coming together. The 
truck is looking good. All the body work is looking good. Um, and basically, I did this here <laughs> in my garage, guys. Um, it's, it's more paint on the ground than, than it is actually um, probably on my truck. But, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know. So um, we're inside the garage right now. And I'm just um, actually going over some projects that I'm actually working on. Um, We're going to start working on the front fenders. A um, lot of body work. A lot of body work. And, and I'm going to probably go through um, really fast with this uh, with the fenders. Because I, both of the fenders was in pretty terrible shape. So whatever you do to one side, you're going to have to do to the other side as well. But I will show you the process of the body work. Um, now this particular truck after I um, did the body work on it and I tried not to Put everything down to bare metal like I would normally do because I do want to batch up the patina with the truck So after I patched the fender and everything I actually did some some test fitting put it on the truck took it off the truck just to see how it would look and then um, afterwards I um, Painted everything I put made the faux tina um, as you will see in the video and, uh, and everything turned out great. So let's get back into this video and I'll catch you guys at the end. As you guys can see, these front fenders was pretty rotted. And especially when the sandblast got a hold to it, it was just no chance. So I fabricated some pieces out of 18 gauge and I worked it on my uh, bench and hammer and dollar it. Did a little test fitting on the truck before I painted it. Make sure everything was lining up good. And also as far as the front fenders that I was actually fixing and stuff. These fenders was really hard for me being a novice body guy. But I did the best that I could and it still turned out really well. I try not to use a lot of Bondo in this truck and stuff and I've I used very little as you guys can see this is an all metal truck and I want to try to keep it that way and then on the inside I put this um, hard enamel black industrial paint and it protects the inside very very well All right, let's start painting and adding a little Fotina to the fenders, guys. As you guys see, I paint everything red, but before I even do that, I put a little black and some um, primer in it. And then when I finish putting my paint, I go back with like 600 grit wet and I sand it pretty much until I get the desired color that I want alright guys coming up I got this hood that I had to find the hood that it was on the truck was so bad after sandblasting I basically just had to set it aside so I actually used aircraft stripper to strip this hood it took me several days to actually get it to like I, like I actually wanted but it overall it turned out really good I had to do very minor body work to it it had a few dents in it, but as you see, it turned out good. And I also went ahead and painted in underneath there the gunmetal color as well. And also, after I finished doing that, I actually started working on all of my new window. I actually had the original rear windows, the little small ones, but the front glass, I actually ordered a new window from LMC Truck, and you guys see that it looked pretty good in there. All right, guys. I'm, like I said, I'm still in the garage working. Um, I see. I, I show you guys what I actually do a lot of uh, work with when I, whenever I'm cutting metal. This is I got a really sweet deal on a plasma cutter. Um, this thing saves me a lot of time on discs um, and when I'm cutting my metal and everything. So you know, and I show you I show you how I work it and stuff. Uh, I make a video about it. But this is a heavy duty plasma cutter. Um, I think every garage should have one. But anyway, finish up uh, with this um, video. Um, we are basically wrapping up everything as far as on the front. 
um, of the uh, the truck. I've got my fenders worked. They look good, painted. I mean, I, I feel like the colors matched up very well um, for, as far as what I'm trying to go for. So in episode 10, we we're going to be getting into wrapping up that bed. And also, I tell you, I got a cool feature for that bed. I'm going to show you guys um, that, I, that I made for uh, my truck and stuff. It's just not a normal bed. So I don't want to get too much ahead of myself. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for joining me this evening. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these videos so we can make a lot more content. And like I tell all my friends and buddies, if you got a fast car or a fast truck and a good cigar, smoke them if you got them. I'm out.